Finally tonight, robots were once considered the stuff of science fiction, but these days you might actually see them roaming the halls of some hospitals chatting with patients. Our Tech Beat reporter Adam Balkan introduces us to Robots Doing Rounds. Doc, this may be the medicine speaking, but something doesn't look quite right about you. No, it's not the drugs. Oh. LIJ Medical Center has begun testing remote-controlled rounding robots. In other words, thanks to a high-resolution camera and high-fidelity microphone, a doctor can be anywhere at home or clear across the globe, yet still do a virtual in-person checkup on patients. You can ask the questions. You have two-way interactions with the robot uh, between the surgeon and the physician and the patient. And you can look at all the chart, uh, looking at the patients. You can hear the heart, listen to the lung sounds, listen to the breath sounds. You can even look into the ear, eye grounds, and look at how the patient looks overall and look at any of the monitoring data, like a blood pressure, respirator. The robots, manufactured in California by InTouch Health, are controlled with this joystick through a standard laptop computer with a high-speed internet connection. Well, the robot itself, thanks to these sensors, can maneuver a bit on its own to prevent hot rod doctors from running down patients. LIJ is right now doing a long-term study of the robo-docs, looking into whether treatment via remote differs from in-person care. It's also gauging patient response. What was the first thought when you saw this robot roll into your room? Uh, I was a little surprised yesterday. Quite, quite interesting. And what do you think about it now? I think it's even better. And who knows, one day, somewhere down the line, it will be normal. Um, every, everybody will come to expect it. And even though, of course, this concept is still brand new in hospitals, doctors are already talking about potentially bringing it into your home. Instead of waiting, because inevitably most doctors run behind, instead of waiting, you're having productive time there, can log on via the internet, via high-speed internet access, via computers, and be able to get the bulk of the information that we need to help interact with the patients. Developers say right now they are literally rolling these robots out at around 120 hospitals nationwide. Adam Malkin, New York One. I'm not sure I want that thing giving me shots. Or surgery. <laughs> or or we'll stitches. We'll stick to human hands for <laughs> surgery.